Hey guys, it's Court. Welcome back to my channel. Notice anything different? What do you guys think? I still have to play around with it a little bit, but I will get it right eventually. So until I do, just bear with me if the lighting seems a little bit off in the next couple of videos or if it changes or whatever. But for now, I am here to show you everything I got for Christmas. Well, er, pump the brakes. This is not everything. This is the stuff that I got from my best friend Erin who I went to school with and my dad and Mike. So basically the people in my everyday life. Most of my family does not celebrate Christmas, which kind of leads me into my disclaimer. I was raised Jehovah Witness, so I didn't have Christmas growing up. I didn't have my first Christmas tree until I was 21 years old. So when I'm showing you guys my gifts, just remember I've only had Christmas for the last six years. I haven't had, you know, 27 Christmases like I should have. I've only had six in my life. So I'm extremely grateful that I have all of this. I don't really feel like I need to say any of that shit. You know, I talk about it all the time on my Snapchat, how grateful I am for the life that I live, how hard my husband works to be able to spoil his girls. So I guess that's kind of my disclaimer, you know, like just chalk it up to making up for the last 26 or 20 Christmases that I've missed in the past. So a couple of the things I am going to show you in kind of like an overview, I guess we'll talk about those things first. The first thing I'm going to show you is my umbrella lights. Mike picked these up for me on Amazon. He is sneaky, sneaky. He thought he was, you know, going to play me out telling me he didn't buy them for me, but I knew he did because he didn't want to get cut. So that's what the improvement or the difference, I don't know if it's an improvement or not. You guys have to let me know. In the lighting, I got these off of Amazon. Um, I am... I'm thinking about doing a video of my entire YouTube setup and showing you guys like what I do and how I do it with my lighting and everything like that. But for now, I'm using these two umbrella lights and the homemade ring light that I showed you guys. I think I showed you on Snapchat a while back when I had first made it. So I am so happy to have these. They're just going to improve the quality of my videos so much. I know you can already see my makeup so much more clear and that is what's important because this is after all a beauty channel. So the next thing that I got is my jewelry box. I don't really wear too much jewelry. Um, you catch me with earrings. I always have my rings on, necklaces once in a while, but I do want to start wearing more. So he got me a new jewelry box. The one that I have right now is just old and busted. It's very beautiful. It's like a cherry wood color. The lighting is not great in my bedroom, so you can't really see the shade of the wood too, too well. But it's beautiful. It has these cute little pockets inside the doors that um, you can like put the bottoms of your necklaces in so they don't get all tangled up and it's got nice little drawers and the top does open up but I keep things on the top of it so I don't really utilize the top of it. It's empty right now but eventually I will fill it up and when I do I won't really use the top of it so much so I love 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 that. That's something that I wanted a while ago and kind of like forgot about. It was like in the back of my mind but when I opened it I was so excited that Mike remembered that I really wanted a new one so that one made me really happy. And the next thing I do have it right here with me but I can't can't really show you like the whole thing. Um, this is a Foldio. It's a foldable studio, which is really cool. I got this off of photojojo.com, which is a really cool website. You could go broke really quick on that website. But um, essentially what this is, is you just open it and all three of the sides kind of fold out and magnetize together. But it has um, two LED strip lights that are dimmable and it has been amazing for taking Instagram pictures, taking product pictures. I did get the large one, so it's 15 by 15. So it has plenty of space to, pick, to take product shots or take, um, like makeup of the day or any pictures of makeup that I need to take, I can do it in this. I don't have, it's a pain in the butt trying to bring my makeup upstairs to take pictures of it with the lighting that I use for filming and then I have to move all my lighting and it's just a pain. So this is really, really nice and really convenient to have downstairs where all of my makeup already is. I wanted this so bad, but I didn't think this was something that he was going to get for me because although he is supportive, I just, I didn't think it was something that he was going to think I needed. After all, Christmas is about what you want, not about what you need. So I was so, so, so happy when I opened this. I got a, I've already been wearing this, so <laughs> it's a robe. 
it's just a really soft fuzzy leopard print and light pink robe it has pockets in it um it has like the little there's the pockets right here and it has a hood and when it comes to robes i have to have pockets i have to have a hood and it has to be soft and fuzzy and warm and snuggly this is all of the above mike nailed it and it has to be patterned too in case i'm like wearing it and i do my makeup and i have to like wipe a brush off and i forget that i'm sitting on a towel that i use to wipe makeup off and I just kind of happen to, you know, do, 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 do one of those on my leg or something. That way you can't see it too, too much because it is patterned. So I told him it had to be a pattern and it's just perfect. It's perfection. We didn't do too many stocking stuffers, but this was one of them. This is a stylus for my phone, which I really wanted for drawing words and little doodles on Snapchat because I do that a lot. This one is like a stylus on crack. Like it's got a pen inside of it and then it's got like a little like a laser light in here and then just a little flashlight and then it has the stylus on the tip right here. So this is really cool. It's got the little clip so I can just clip it. Um, It's on the way. So when it gets here, this will just clip right inside of my Erin Condren planner. I'm about to cry just thinking about this damn planner. I'm so excited about it. But when I do get it, this will go inside and it'll be very, very handy. My other stocking stuffer is this Tarte Holidays Blush Palette. I've had this for months. It's been sitting in the basement just teasing me and taunting me like, ha ha, bitch, you can't touch me. And now... I can touch you all I want, you naughty little palette. Oh, I'm gonna wreck you, girl. That got weird. Look at these colors. I love these colors. I think they are gorgeous. All of the shades in here are gorgeous, though. I love the packaging. People are kind of like back and forth on the packaging. None of my glitter has fallen off yet, so... I mean, it's on there pretty good. Their blushes are always on point. I love their blushes. I guess keeping with the category of stuff that I bought for myself months ago and has been sitting down in the basement, I will show you the rest of that stuff. Um, this is the Morphe 35T palette. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. This is a Green Eyed Beauties dream palette look at these shades it's full of taupe and bronze and gold and purple and brown and any color that is going to accentuate and just make green eyes pop right out of your damn head is in this palette i haven't swatched this or touched it or anything yet but the next time i do let me know if you guys want an update um i can give it to you on snapchat or whatever you know but this is just it literally like it makes me lose my train of thought like what what the fuck was I even just talking about another one that I ordered for myself back when it was first released is the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau this is just one of their little house thingies that opens up and it's got the three little palettes inside of it it's got the pink one the black one and the green one the shades in here are pretty nice they're pretty powdery I haven't used them yet but when I did swatch them and they do kick up quite a bit of product I don't know if you can see in this shade right here and um when I swatch it you can see it just has oh it's really pigmented they're really smooth but there's just a lot of excess powder here that doesn't necessarily mean there will be fallout though because with Kat Von D and Lorac shadows for instance they are very powdery and they have a lot of kick up but I don't get any fallout when I use those shadows so hopefully these will be on par I haven't been too too happy with Too Faced lately but I don't know maybe this will be the product that changes my mind and makes me fall in love with them again we shall see and then when I ordered those two items, there were some things on sale. One of them was this enormous tote bag right here. It says, um, Too Faced, love, uh, favorite things. And I think it says, love your pretty or something. Own your pretty right here. And I just thought it was really cute. I love the, the colors on it. And it's just huge. And it's really adorable. It's got a couple of pockets inside here. And we go to the beach quite often in the summertime. And we do tend to stay over at hotels. So I just thought that this would be a perfect beach bag or overnight bag or something like that. And I think I got it for like 15, 15 or 18 bucks or something. So I couldn't pass that up. Back to the things that Mike picked out for me. This is just something. This was another little cute thing that was in my stocking. Um, I actually put this in one of my pictures on Instagram, and I love the way that it came out. It says, be with a guy who ruins your lipstick, not your mascara. Words to live by, ladies. When I opened this box, it was like God opened up heaven and shone a light down on my poor, sore, little ear holes.
I have been using earbuds for months. And when you're sitting down editing a YouTube video on your phone, because I do everything on my phone, and you have earbuds in your ears for four hours, you want to rip your own ears off. So when I saw these, they're like pillows on my ears. They're so comfy. They're adorable. I don't know what the brand is. I forgot to bring the box up. Sorry. I'm not going to get it. I'll put it in the description. Um, and they're wireless, which is incredible. Because when I'm trying to like nurse the baby and like in the middle of the night and I'm trying to edit my videos, trying to deal with a cord on my headphones with her like grabbing and it getting tangled and it's just not fun. So they're Bluetooth and, and I mean, <sighs> how damn cute do I look right now? <clears throat> right? Maybe? Yeah. This is something that I definitely didn't think he was going to get me because it is expensive. It was kind of like just something that I threw out there that I've kind of been wanting, but I really wasn't expecting it at all. This is the Clarisonic Mia 1 in the limited edition pink color. Got to adjust the boobage here. Haley hasn't eaten in a couple hours and I am falling out, man. And since this is my first Clarisonic, um, I really only wanted like the basic, like, you know, standard whatever. And he actually ended up getting me the one with the deep pore cleansing brush head and the cleanser, which the cleanser I haven't tried yet, but the deep pore brush head, <sighs> so good. My face feel so smooth. My pores just look clean. Like the little blackheads on my nose are gone. Like I am in love with this. It just has the one speed. But since, like I said, this is my first Clarisonic or like face scrub kind of thing, that's all I need, you know, and it's perfect. I don't have sensitive skin or anything like that. So I figured I wouldn't need, you know, like any special types of settings or anything like that. It fits so comfortably in my hand. It fits perfectly on my face and I just love this thing. I love it so much. My back hurts. You know what Santa didn't bring me is a new pillow so I don't get crotch wedgies. Okay, the final gift from daddy. I call him daddy not in like a pimp and hoe kind of way, but because he's the father of my children. So the last thing from daddy, oh my god, I just opened this box and it's like, it just is heaven. This big old box right here, it's so heavy. Isn't this cute? It's adorable. It is full. I wanted this stuff. So this is another, he like really surprised me this year. Full of Lush. Oh my God. I've been wanting to try Lush forever, forever. And now I have like an abundance of it. Let me show you what I got. These are so cool. These are their shower jellies. This is the 93,000 miles. This one is supposed to relax tired muscles. This is called the Comforter Shower Cream. It's a cuddle in a bottle. Look at the color of this. Can you see the iridescence in the purple? Like how cool is that? Then there's a Rockstar Soap Bulk. I guess this is kind of like a bar of soap. I don't know. I haven't tapped into this yet. And then this is called Yes, Yes, Yes. Um, assuming that this is a... Um, another bar of soap, maybe. I don't know, but I like that the first or I like that the first ingredient is a fair trade organic cocoa butter. Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes. What was that? Herbal essences. You guys remember that commercial? I think that's what it was. He just kind of got me like a little bit of everything, so I could try it all, which is exactly what I wanted. This is a little robot. It's called the Ickle Baby Bot, and then I got the Butter Ball. This is a bath bomb. It's just white, and it smells like heaven wrapped up in a little white ball. This one's really pretty. It's like a pink and white um, base of a ball. And then it's got like green and yellow and blue and purple. It's called the Luxury Lush Pud. P-U-D. That's kind of strange. These last two are my favorite. They're both um, bath bombs. This one is really pretty. It's purple and it's got like the little rose in the center there. This one is called, can you see it? Is it in focus? <laughs> this is the naughty one. This is the one we're going to use together. And then the last one is definitely the cutest. This is called Candy Mountain. Look at this. It's like a pearlized white and a hot pink. And it looks like kind of a candy cane mountain. Oh my god. This is adorable. Like I cannot get over. I don't even know how I'm going to use this. Like how am I supposed to just let this dissolve in water. How am I supposed to just let that happen? You know, like any of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That was so first world.
I want to smack myself right now. So that was all the daddy got me. Now moving on to what my girlfriend Erin got for me. Um, I got this I woke up like this makeup bag, which is really funny because everything that I got for her, I put inside of a gold and black leopard print makeup bag. We just know each other too well. Inside of this makeup bag was more lush oh i got so much of it she messaged me and she's like what do you want what should we get each other and she was like i'm gonna go to lush so i'm gonna get you some stuff from there and i was like that's fine just get me lush don't worry about makeup don't nothing like i've never tried it before any money you're gonna spend on me spend it at lush and that's exactly what she did so she got me the cup of coffee face and body mask i've already tried this it's incredible i do believe that the exfoliant in here is actual cotton mm. Mmm, smells so good. It is actual coffee grounds, so there's no artificial smells, and obviously Lush is all natural ingredients, and it is, it felt so good on my skin. My skin was so just soft, and it felt bright and tight and amazing after I used this. And the other thing that she got me is the Snowman Shower Jelly, which I love this. It is so cute. I've been using this, and it actually looks like a little snowman. I'm going to take it out. He's a little, he's a little snowman. I don't know how well you can see. You see his little nose? He looks like a grumpy snowman. Mm. But you, I, I've been using it from the bottom. You rip a little piece off and you either lather it up like on yourself or in your hands, on your bath sponge. I use a poof in the shower. So I just rip like literally a piece like this and it cleans your whole body. It just makes you feel so soft and silky smooth and the smell lasts forever then she got me this little box right here which contains uh, more lush this is the shoot for the stars bath bomb and it's kind of got like a little galaxy scene on it and it just smells i can't describe smells but oh my god that one's my favorite and then the other one in here is the butter bear bath bomb it smells incredible and I cannot wait to try all of this stuff. I'm going to be smelling amazing for like the next six months. What is on my face? What is this? How long has this been here? Seriously? What is that? It was an eyelash. Has that been there the whole time and you guys never said anything to me? Great friends. You guys are great friends. Thank you so much. Moving on to what my dad got me. My dad and I kind of have a complicated relationship for lack of a better term he's a dick. <laughs> he's just, he's pretty much non-existent. He's not really around too much, but he does spoil us on holidays. I guess he thinks it's going to make up for it. Anyway, this is what he got me for Christmas. I do have two stepsisters. One of them works at Goodwill, so she got some really cute clothes for the girls. Um, she didn't get anything from me, but she got stuff for the girls, and it was like brand new with the tags on it. Really, really cute couple of sweaters. And then my other sister, who's a little bit older, she's actually pregnant. She's about to pop, but she got me a couple of things from Victoria's or Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry. Um, this one is Twilight Woods. It's a body spray, and then this one is from Victoria's Secret. This is the Pure Seduction Body Cream. And then there's this little box, which I thought was wrapped so cute. It says Angel Forever. And inside of it, there is an AMC ticket, which is a movie theater around here. A really nice movie theater with like recliners. And like, it is awesome. I cannot wait to use that. And then when you open the little tissue paper here, there is the cutest little black sequin like coin purse instantly I thought lipsticks this will be perfect to put lipsticks in so I was really grateful for that because I didn't even know she was going to be there and I felt really bad because we didn't get them anything because they don't live there so we didn't you know we thought they're teenagers that they were going to be out doing their own thing but they were they did end up being there and they didn't have to get us anything you know what I mean because I don't really talk to them that much now my dad I didn't bring this up here so I will do a quick little um insert of it he got me a professional knife set. He's a chef, so he tends to get me things for cooking. I really enjoy cooking. I love doing it. And I have needed a good set of knives forever. Trying to cut a tomato with a dull knife is like my own personal hell on earth. So he got me a really good set of knives. He said they're like top of the line, best on the market. I don't know anything about knives, but that's what he said. They feel incredible. I was already messing around with them and they came with a really nice block to keep them in. So that was kind of like a part of my bigger gift right there. And then the big honking kahuna that I was so excited about, like squealed like a little piggy when I opened this box. Ah. 
there she is look how cute the gift card is too it's got like makeup all over it a gift card to Ulta so I'm waiting for some like awesome end of the year sales or for some like new spring releases to launch before I spend it it's like like it was so hard for me not to go like the last two days and go and spend this so guys that is it for what I got for Christmas of 2015 I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of like a little haul video except I didn't buy any of this stuff so I just want to share it with you guys let me know down below if you got anything good what you got what you did if you had fun my favorite part of Christmas this year was the fact that Brielle was old enough to actually get excited for Santa to come we took her to the mall to go and see him she was like starstruck she didn't say a word she was so excited in the line like go see Santa go see Santa and then she actually got up to him and she was like it's him. Oh, and it was so much fun. Haley obviously is still too young, but that was the highlight of my Christmas was the fact that my daughter is now old enough to appreciate her gifts and actually kind of like know what's going on. It was just such a blast. I hope you guys had an amazing time with your families or whatever you decided to do this holiday season. I love you guys so damn much. Keep an eye out for my giveaway that's coming up soon to celebrate this amazing year that you beauties have given me. I'm out of here. I love you guys so damn much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.